Hi guys and welcome back to Vlogmas. This is day four and um, I'm getting ready to go to church. So I just thought I would share with you guys my outfit for the day. Um, this is a cute little festive outfit I feel like. Um, so I just have on this red coat. I got this from Loft, I wanna say the beginning of the year and I just love it, it's just so festive and I just love red. And then I just have on this like gray kind of marled um, sweater dress. I think I got this from Just Fab several years ago, like it's super old. Um, and then I forgot to mention the top. We'll start from the top. I have on this sequin beret. I showed this in a haul and it is from Zara. And then as far as jewelry, I have on these like little geometric earrings. These are from Shein. My little choker here, this is from Zara. I showed this, showed this in a recent haul. And then I have on this zebra print bag that is from Amazon. I showed this in a recent haul. And my coat is a little wrinkled. I probably should have steamed it a little bit, but hopefully by as the day goes on, it'll come out. Um, and then my boots, I have on these like little knee-high boots that are from 12th, 12th Tribe. I showed these in a recent haul as well. And they're just like in this wedge kind of style and just kind of Western. So just thought this was just a cute little statement-y kind of look to wear for the day. Um, absolutely love it. And like I said, very festive and just very chic and very fun. So, um, but this is the look for the day. So I'm getting ready to head out, like I said, and going to church. So yeah, um, so I'm on the agenda today. I don't know what we're gonna do today. Obviously, we're gonna, I'm going to church and then probably go pop and get something to eat afterwards. And then I'll probably come home. I'm gonna share with you guys a gift guide, Christmas gift guide for her, for you know the ladies in your life. So um, I'm gonna share that with you guys later on. So we'll see what happens throughout the day. I will try to remember to vlog it if um, we do anything else. So, um, but yeah, so I'll catch up with you guys later on. you can see I've made it home so I thought I would share with you guys like a little Christmas gift guide um, I'm gonna do one for you know women I'm gonna do that one today and then tomorrow I'm gonna do one for men just to kind of break it up a little bit um, I just want to share with you guys what I feel like would be great kiss you know Christmas gifts to give to you know women you know even girls or teenagers you know older women like females in general I think would be good gifts so all of these things I feel like most women would love. I know I love these things that I'm going to list out. So I have a total of 10 items um, or like gift ideas that I think will be covered for women. So I just have them here on my phone here. I'm just going to read them out. I do have some examples for you um, of things that I have that I love and, you know, that I think will make, you know, good, you know, Christmas gifts. Or, you know, if you want to get them for yourself too, like if you're trying to figure out what you know something that you you know could have for yourself so um so we're just gonna go down the list and i'm gonna try to pop up pictures as well as like i said i have some examples too for you guys you know for reference and these are like may, may, a lot of these gifts are things that you know are super affordable and some are higher end so i have a wide you know range of prices you know so from like you know like i said really affordable to a little bit luxury so yeah so we'll get into it so number one um i put on the list are pajamas um these are perfect like you know pajamas or like robes anything like loungewear or sleepwear i feel like would be perfect gifts for women you know because we like to be cozy and you know we like the vibes right women so um i feel like this would be you know a perfect gift for you know women if you're a man watching you know because i do have male you know viewers um then you know that special woman in your life probably would love some pajamas so um but yeah so i think i did i'm pretty sure actually i did do a holiday gift guide or christmas gift guide um that i posted on my like to know it and it was basically things from h&m like some of my picks from h&m that i think would be um make good gifts so i think i had some pajamas in there um you know how h&m they sell out so they may not be available but like i said i'll pop, try to pop some pictures on here 
um if you guys are like looking for some that you know are available and yeah like i said i'll try to pop some pictures up here and link some down below um in the description box so yeah so pajamas are just the perfect gift for any woman like i said we love the cozy vibes and yeah there's just you know there's so many pickings out there so uh yeah so number one are pajamas and then number two are fragrances or perfumes and i have some of mine here like i said some of them because i have a lot of fragrances i love fragrances um i think out of all the things i'm gonna list this is probably my top favorite like if someone was to get me a gift right or someone was thinking about getting me a gift if they were to give me a fragrance especially like a luxury fragrance okay then i would be I'll be a happy girl so um so I have some here that I'm going to show you guys um the first one is by Dior and this one is the Miss Dior absolutely blooming and this smells so good I can't really describe fragrances for you guys so you're just gonna have to go to the store like you know Sephora most of these I got from Sephora if not all of them I think I got one fragrance from I think like Macy's um, but most of these you'll find them at, you know, Sephora or if you go to like one of those perfume places that they have like in the mall, sometimes you can get some on discount, you know, just go in there and see if you can, you know, smell some of these. Um, but these are my favorites. And like I said, these are ones that, you know, if somebody wants to give me a gift, these are ones that I would want. So yeah, the first one is by Miss, is by Dior and this one's called Miss Dior. And this has kind of like a, it's not really a light scent. This is definitely like a musky let me not even get into trying to you know describe these fragrances because i'm gonna be all off but this one is not it's not fruity it's more like a i don't know it's like um I, I don't know y'all like it's not fruity at all it's, i don't like fruity smells although i do have a fragrance that's fruity um by prada i didn't even bring it in here because um i just feel like that's kind of an acquired smell and it's very fruity like i said and most women most people don't like those kind of fragrances so um, and plus it's not like my, my top, top favorite and to me you have to keep, you know, keep spraying in order for it to stay. Anyway, I digress. But I just love the packaging of this one. It's just so cute and just so dainty and so girly. I need to like re-up and get um, another bottle of this. But it just has like this cute little bow on it. So, you know, that's even a gift in itself, right? So, yeah, but this one, um, like I said, I'm not even going to explain the fragrances because I will be all off. So, just don't mind that. But yeah, I definitely love this one. And then I have another one um, by Gucci, and this is the Gucci Guilty, um, and the packaging looks like this. I don't know if you can kind of see that, but I love this one. This one is like, it's very, I don't know, it's very clean smelling, if that makes sense. Um, but I just, I just love this one. Um, I actually have another one of these that I haven't even opened up yet. So, but yeah, this one's by Gucci, and uh, like I said, it has like a, it's like a, I don't know, it's very has like a clean smell like not like laundry not like laundry smell but it's definitely like a clean smell i don't know it's like a light smell so it's nothing too like masculine so i'm gonna try to explain these fragrances as far as like masculine and like feminine feminine being more like fruity or like florally you know and masculine being more like like a man <laughs> so but anyway so this one's probably probably more feminine kind of like in the middle but more so going towards like feminine kind of a fragrance but yeah i definitely love that one and the next one i have um this is chanel chance and this is what it looks like so it's a chanel fragrance and definitely love this one this one is definitely more feminine it kind of has a floral scent to it i feel like um definitely nothing masculine about this fragrance but this is what the packaging looks like if you find it in the store and you know these are obviously luxury fragrances so you know you're gonna pay a good penny but i feel like it's worth the investment especially like for you know your wife or your mother or your grandmother you know these are perfect gifts for you know family members like close family members so but yeah so this one is by chanel and it's chanel chance and then the next one is by ysl this is actually empty um i've already used this up i don't know why i still have the bottle i i'm I have it because I want to get because I've been trying to you know go get another one and I just haven't had a chance to go get another one from Sephora but this one is by YSL it's a lot YSL Libre I think is the name of it and this one I still can smell it even though it's empty this one is definitely more going towards masculine so if you're not into like masculine scents you won't like this one um but I like that strong sometimes I like that strong kind of masculine scent um, but it smells wonderful like it smells heavenly I love it and if I'm kind of like going for like 
I don't know, like that androg the androgynous kind of look or if I'm wearing like an androgynous kind of look, then I just pair, you know, my look with this fragrance. So, but I definitely love this one. Like I said, it's more of a, you know, kind of all a masculine kind of, you know, smell. So, like I said, if you're not into it, you won't like this, but it's worth going to try it out and smelling it, you know, at the store. And then the next one I have, this is kind of like a recent one. And I have like, I've kind of like... I guess kind of like falling in love with the Joe Malone fragrances. I've kind of for a while kind of been like, oh no, I don't want to try that because everybody has Joe Malone <laughs> um, and everyone knows pretty much about it. But yeah, it's, it's by Joe Malone and this one is the English Pear and Freesia. And these, to me, the Joe Malone scents are, they to me are definitely unisex um, because they're kind of like, they're not too feminine and they're not too masculine. So this, the Joe Malone fragrances, um, in particular to me are more kind of like in the middle so a man or a woman can wear these um, but this one this one in particular the English pear and freesia it smells just like it says English it smells like you know English pear <laughs> I mean it, does, it doesn't smell too much like a fruit smell um, it's more like a I don't know like a masculine kind of fruity smell if that makes sense so it's not too feminine it's not too masculine like I said it's a unisex smell um, and I just recently got this, as you can see, I barely even got any uh, use out of this, um, really just because I have some other ones. But like I said, I kind of wanted to try out the Jo Malone uh, fragrances, and so I got this one. But I have some other little samples too, but out of all the samples I have, this one's probably my favorite. Um, but yeah, so love that one. And then the last one I got, um, I'm trying to think, I got this one, um, I think I got this one at like a fragrance one of those perfume or fragrance uh, stores that have like, you know, sell fragrances and you can get like a little bit of money off. I think that's where I got this one from. And this one is by Burberry and it's called My Burberry Blush. It's huge. Packaging is huge. So, um, but this one definitely has like a feminine scent to it. This one kind of smells a little bit close to the one by Gucci a little bit. I don't know. That's different, but... Um, I definitely love this one. Like I said, it's very feminine and definitely more on the feminine side. It's not fruity though. And it's, I guess it's kind of florally scented, but um, I love like the little bow detail here and the uh, top here is just cute. It's like in this, what do you call this? Like a marble or like, yeah, like a marbled kind of effect to the top here. And so it's just a big, huge bottle, but I think this was pretty reasonable. So um, but yeah, so that's the fragrances. I just wanted to share with you guys some of the ones that I have that I recommend, at, you know, that would make good Christmas gifts. So, so those are the fragrances. And then number three on the list, um, is jewelry. So again, I have some examples here for you guys for jewelry and, um, I love jewelry. I have so much, I have too much really at this point to even really, um, <laughs> to even, you know, really show you guys all of them. Um, so I just picked out some of my favorite ones or the ones that I probably wear the most that you probably see the most on my channel. So these first ones I have are from Amazon and I have a necklace here. So necklaces, you just can't go wrong with giving necklaces. I feel like anybody can wear these, especially women. We love necklaces, right? Um, and I love like layering necklaces, like necklaces that I can just kind of layer on on top of each other. So this one, um, it's like a paperclip kind of style and um it kind of latches here and this one i got from amazon so it has like this little black little um little you know bead or what do you call this like a um a black little onyx kind of a situation or jewel here so yeah so i got it in black i got it from the same seller i just end up getting three of them three of the ones that i like um here was another one same one just in a different little charm and it has like a little bead charm here and it's really pretty and then I have another one. This one, the charm on it is like a coin. So um, it's from the same seller. Um, just I just got the different charms to go or that come with it. Um, so yeah, just like some paper clip little necklaces. And these are super popular and trendy right now. So and affordable. So and I've had these for a while. And I must say they don't tarnish. And so like I can even layer these together. I wouldn't, but you could. Um, but yeah, like I said, they haven't tarnished or anything. I got them from Amazon, I want to say before the summertime, maybe, maybe I got these last year. I don't know. I can't remember, but I've had them for a while and I wear them long enough or I've been wearing them long enough where, you know, if they were going to tarnish or mess up, they would have already done it because I literally, like I said, wear them all the time. So, um, but so these are just some cute little, you know, layering pieces, necklaces. 
and then also from Amazon I have my hoop earrings you guys probably see these a lot in my videos because I love these these are probably the only pair of hoop earrings or like chunky hoop earrings that I have because I just love some chunky hoop earrings so these are just perfect for anybody that loves hoop earrings when I wear these I get compliments a lot so um, you just can't go wrong with some nice you know little earrings so um, especially like chunky ones so got love those and then I also have some little rings I didn't bring all the rings in here but these again are from Amazon and this one is just kind of like um, in like this chain detail and like I said they're just little rings you know that you can kind of wear you know on any of your fingers I think this one is adjustable so if you kind of want to open it up and adjust it you can um, but I love rings and these are just some cute little fashion rings like I said they haven't tarnished and I wear them enough that if they were gonna tarnish they would have already done it by now so but yeah you just can't go wrong with some rings and then the next few pieces I have um, these are from Anna Louise Anna Louisa jewelry um, I just actually just did a collaboration on another video but I just thought I would mention them again um, these pieces in particular these are new pieces so I have several pieces but I just wanted to show you, show you guys some new ones um, again a necklace this is like a little bar necklace and just something simple and dainty like I can layer this with one of my you know Amazon um, necklaces so kind of do like this type of a situation or I don't know if you guys can see kind of like this type of a situation here um, with these necklaces so I just love to layer necklaces so there's just this like I said just good layering pieces and this is from Anna Louisa just like a little bar uh, necklace so love that one and then I also have some bracelets that um, I got from Anna Louisa and they kind of like this and you can of course layer these they're two different ones so you can obviously layer these two on or just wear them you know by themselves so this one is more of like a wider type of uh kind of that paper clip kind of detail so this one's wider and then this one's a little bit smaller and this one has like some little detail on it too like some little rivets going on here in the middle so yeah you can wear this one you know on its own just kind of dainty like so and then the last piece as far as jewelry wise I have like I said I have several rings but this one is probably one of my favorites it's green and it's just like a little signet is that what you call it ring and yeah it's kind of has like this little green effect um, here so just a cute little ring again I, I think out of the jewelry I would probably go more so for the hoop earrings or the necklaces just because you know I know not everybody likes to wear rings but most people wear necklaces and earrings especially earrings so um but yeah so yeah jewelry is just a perfect gift for you know that special woman in your life so i definitely recommend that you you know get some jewelry if you kind of stumped about you know what you want to get uh that special woman in you know your life um so then we have number four face mask like i said get a good robe on and a good shower routine or a good bath routine or get in the you know tub or whatever and put on a mat you know a face mask and it's a vibe right like i said women we love the vibes right the cozy vibes and i love face masks i have so many of them um or i try to keep a good collection of them but um i will you know pop up some pictures like i said of some of the ones that you know are highly you know recommended um but face masks are just perfect you know it's just a good little Thing that you can do for yourself to pamper yourself so you know if you want that special woman in your life to kind of be pampered or to have like a little pamper day then I think a face mask would be perfect to give to you know that special woman in your life so so yeah so that's number four which will be face mask and then the next one is a no-brainer candles or like a diffuser I found one on Amazon that I think I might get because I feel like diffusers are a little bit better probably than candles but either one I like either one I like candles or diffusers so um but yeah candles or diffusers you know those are just those gifts you know anybody really would love those gifts right like especially if you like into fragrance and you know you like your home smelling nice and fresh and like your home you know to smell good then candles or diffusers are just perfect gifts to give you know you can put them in your kitchen your bathroom they're just perfect right so um yeah candles yeah like you can even like 
give you know give those kind of gifts to people that you don't know that well like if you're having like an office christmas party or like a white elephant type of a situation you know or you put draw names you know at work you know if you have work in a company for a company or whatever and you know you have you know you work with people and y'all do that whole christmas you know christmas exchange and you're like what do i get this person like i don't probably know them and you don't want to ask somebody right so I just feel like candles are just kind of a no-brainer for women i feel like you know most women love candles there are some women who probably don't but that's why i created this list so that you know it's a variety right but if you know someone that loves candles then just get them a candle i love the ones from bath and body works i think they're actually called the white white company or something like that i don't know but i like the ones that i you know from bath and body works like and i think they just recently had a sale where their candles were like 9.95 and i missed that sale i definitely missed it and so i hopefully hopefully it will come back and I can go and get, you know, stock up on them. Because that's usually when I stock up stock up on those candles is when they go on sale. So, um, but yeah, so check out, you know, Bath and Body Works, you know, Yankee Candle. Although I'm not a Yankee Candle type of girl. Um, or you can just go like to your, your local Walmart or your Target and get some of those candles. And like I said, a diffuser. I will link the one that I found on Amazon that I think, you know, would be a nice gift for anybody who may not like candles but may do the diffuser. So. Um, so yeah, so that's number five, which is candles or diffusers. And the next one, probably my favorite, are fuzzy socks. I love fuzzy socks. I think I got these um, as a Christmas gift one year at work. So um, you just can't go wrong with fuzzy socks. Like I said, women, we love the warm and the cozy vibes. And we like our feet to be nice and warm and toasty. And there's nothing like wearing some fuzzy, you know, warm socks, you know, in your Uggs, right? When you're walking around in your Ugg slippers, okay? Which that's actually not on the list. Because um, I try to keep this list kind of a things that, I don't know. I just try to keep the list with things that I feel like everybody would like. Not everybody's a fan of Uggs. <laughs> and so I get that. So, but anyway, I digress. So fuzzy socks, like if you have fuzzy socks, you don't need Uggs because they will keep you nice and warm and cozy and they feel like you're wearing some Ugg socks or feel like you're wearing Uggs. And I think actually, since I said Ugg socks, I think Ugg actually have socks. So yeah, um, if I can find them, I will link, link them too. But yeah, fuzzy socks, you just can't go wrong with those. Like I said, we love the warm and cozy vibes and just, yeah, just get you, you know, get you a few pair that you can like gift out to several people so you know people will love people love that women we love that kind of stuff right all right so that's number six fuzzy socks and then number seven would be card holders and i have some here um i have more of like luxury kind of card holders but you uh, you know obviously don't have to get the luxury ones if you especially if you can't afford it obviously um these are more so gifts for like i said family members like your mom or your sister or your grandma or your wife and so yeah so i just have some card holders here or these are mine actually so they're both by gucci and i actually these i got for my birthday this one i got i think two years ago and this one i got this year or this one is actually last year for my birthday and this one i got this year for my birthday so uh y'all know if you've been following me y'all know i love gucci so um and i keep my card holders in these um so yeah you just can't go wrong with card holders like if you have a woman in your life who loves luxury items then these are just perfect gifts they're pretty affordable notice i say affordable because they're not cheap but they are kind of like the low-end range or the lower end range of like the luxury right um, these are good like starter pieces to start a luxury collection so if you have a woman in your life who loves luxury like i said but just doesn't really pay you know that money for it then these are perfect gifts you you know you can't go wrong with this kind of these kind of gifts like if someone was to give me these i gifted them to myself but if someone was to give me these i would definitely be excited and happy and you know overjoyed because you know like i said this is not something that you buy every day right because it's expensive so um but they're good gifts i feel like for like i said those close women in your life um that you just don't know what to buy for but you know they're into fashion or they're into luxury so these are good gifts so but yeah so i have these two that i want to share but obviously like i said if you can't afford these you know you can always go to like target you can find some i think on amazon just walmart just you know card holders are perfect gifts so that is number seven card holders all right the next one um is number eight and we're gonna go with espresso machines or like coffee makers more specifically espresso machines because i feel like those are you know popular and probably be able to find those 
and they're just a little bit better quality and just a, a better experience a better coffee experience you know this espresso machines are a little bougie so if you have a woman in your life who's a little bit bougie you know then i feel like espresso machine would be you know a great gift um like i said i will pop a picture of one that i found on amazon i think i'm gonna get or hopefully whoever's watching this that's close to me may get that for me um but yeah espresso machines you know coffee machines for the women in your life who love to drink coffee or who are into you know those you know little specialty drinks then yeah espresso machine i feel like would be a good gift so so now we're getting to number nine um scarves or hats um i don't have any scarves on me and i have several scarves i could have brought them in here um but yeah scarves you can find them anywhere you can find them again on amazon walmart target you know all your all the you know the basic places um you just can't go wrong with, you just can't go wrong with scarves right like i feel like everybody can can use a scarf you know every, every woman can use a scarf like especially now you know in the winter time and yeah i think anybody will love scarves right like you can just you can use them as accessory and also you can use them you know practicality wise as far as you know when you're out in the cold and you need like an extra little layer then a scarf is just perfect so um yeah like i said you can find them anywhere um i just actually just purchased two from asos i showed in um uh, i think my last video was a new yeah it was in my last video which was a new win haul and i think those were sold out so sorry if you guys i didn't realize those were sold out when i was filming that video so sorry ahead of time if you guys clicked on the links and they were gone like that's just how it is you know right now people are shopping for gifts and so scarves and things like that kind of go quickly so you got to stay on it especially like nice quality you know cute scarves so um i'll try to find some more and link them down below like some colorful ones um or like some pattern ones some fluffy ones ones with tassels like the circular ones like you know hey i even have like a burberry scarf that i love which i wish i would have brought that in here but yes burberry scarf i don't think i pay i don't know i can't remember how much i paid for it but that's also a you know a good gift for the women in your life who are into luxury like get her a burberry scarf like hey you know that scarf is something it's cashmere so it's good quality and it'll last for years i hate that i didn't bring mine in here but anyway i'll pop a picture to show you guys but but yeah so you just can't go wrong with scarves like i said everyone loves scarves and women love scarves so yeah so number nine is scarves all right and then the last thing on the list i could have done more but i just wanted to keep this kind of condensed and not too overwhelming and you've probably already seen some gift guides because if you clicked on this channel because of the fact that it's a gift guide and that means you are actively looking for gift guides so i don't want to overwhelm you and over you know bombard you with ideas you know these are just the simple and the basic ones and i also going to share with you guys some ones that i would pick so um but yeah so number 10 is gift cards um you know you don't have to obviously you know if you're picking this video then you want some gift ideas but sometimes some people just want gift cards like i know me and i would love to get i love to get gift cards to like my some of my favorite restaurants or you know gift cards so like i said some like some of my favorite stores like bath and body works um, where i can get candles um, walmart target like those places that most women love to go to um even like restaurants now a lot of restaurants have gift cards where you can you know purchase a gift card and put some money on there um you know you can get it buy a gift card to like a spa or a gift card to go get her nails done i mean you can really do a lot with gift cards or just like a gift card with money on it like it doesn't have to necessarily be to a retailer it can just be a gift card with just money on it like a visa gift card so gift cards are just perfect gifts i know it's not really being creative but you know if you have someone in your life who doesn't really care no fuss and it's like just give me the money girl you know just then just give a gift card i mean you know you can't go wrong with that and they can do what they want with it right like if you give them a gift card to target then they can go and get whatever they need because i know right now people need you know a little bit of extra cash and so you know why not give them a gift card that way they can get what they want and you know some people might need some groceries so if you give them a gift card a hundred dollar gift card to like walmart or something they can go and get them some food so you know get, getting gifts out here in these streets doesn't have to be you know where you're just getting gifts as far as like things like the things that i mentioned um sometimes all people need really is just a little bit of help 
you know so that's the perfect gift that you can give anybody it's just a little help you know to kind of make their life a little bit easier you know and try and help them you know get things that they actually need because right because a lot of these things i mentioned that aren't things that people need right but a lot of people need money so you can help them in that way by just you know giving away you know giving a gift card so um but yeah so that's it so um i hope you guys got a little bit of you know some help in what to get you know those special you know women in your life um i hope that you know i gave you guys a few you know a few good options i'm going to try to link some down below of some things that i've kind of been having my eye out on and also the things that i showed you guys i will link down below um but yeah so um that's it so i just wanted to share with you guys my little gift guide for her like i said tomorrow i'm gonna share a gift guide for men so if you are looking for you know some ideas of what to get you know get some of your men in your life or you know your son like i said your husband your, your dad your granddad someone at work you may have drawn a man's name at work and you're like i have no idea what to get what to get a man you know so i'm gonna help you because i had a little help from my man from my husband he kind of helped me a little bit um with this so yeah i'll share that with you guys tomorrow so stay tuned for that so all right so that's it um i'm gonna go wind down a little bit more as you can see i've kind of taken off the outfit i had on earlier and just put on like this little sweatsuit this is like just an all green let me just stand up <laughs> just an all green sweatsuit here that i just popped on to do this to do this part of the video so i kept a little sequin hat on because i just love it just love it it's just so sparkly and so sequiny and just kind of kind of went with the whole theme of this part of the video as far as gift guides so i'm actually going to take this off and probably take off my makeup and rest a little bit um because we just got home not too long ago and actually just started filming this video after we got home and so I'm a little tired and gonna just kind of rest and relax a little bit and probably watch a little bit of YouTube. Um, I like to watch uh, Saturday Night Live. I don't know if you guys like that show. It's so old, but I still watch it. And Kiki Palmer, she actually guest starred on it last night and where she revealed that she's, you know, pregnant, which I think people's suspicions were kind of out there that she was, right? So I think that's what I'm gonna do is just watch some Saturday Night Live and listen to her or watch her I should say host and you know guest star in it because I think she, she's gonna probably just be hilarious so um and then maybe watch a few other YouTube videos just kind of just chill in the house and um enjoy I guess the rest of my off day um because I worked yesterday which would have been Saturday by the time you watch this it'll be Monday so I worked yesterday which is uh, uh, Saturday so I'm a little tired and um so yeah, I just need to relax and rejuvenate a little bit. So, but yeah, I will catch up with you guys later on. And if anything, just to close out the video or do anything else, then yeah, I will share it with you guys. But yeah, so I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Especially glad to be here though, because there's some rumors going around. People have been in my comments saying Kiki's having a baby, Kiki's pregnant, and I want to set the record straight. I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kelly, I think that salmon you caught might be a piranha. Uh oh, here come the bus. Hi guys, so I just wanted to pop on here real quick. Um, I'm, as you can see, I think I showed you guys some clips of um, the Saturday Night Live clip or episode, I should say, with Kiki Palmer, and she. Um, so far, I've watched a few clips um, on YouTube, and so far, she's hilarious. <laughs> like, the one that you guys just probably saw, the last one, that the clip that I showed you guys was with her, Kenan, and she was supposed to be Kelly. So, it was Kenan and Kelly, I think. Um, and then, of course, Kale from the original um, Kenan and Kale show, he kind of made a cameo in that um, scene. So, it's hilarious. Um, Kiki Palmer is just so infectious. I wish I had her energy and her just spark but anyway i'm gonna continue to watch a few more episodes and then yeah i'm actually editing this video and watching some of snl at the same time so um uh, but yeah so i'm just going to you know call the night close this video out and i hope you guys enjoyed you know coming along with me to church as well as my um holiday or christmas gift guide for her i will link everything that i showed you guys i will link it down in the description box so just be sure to check down there for all the goodies and yeah, that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to be giving you guys 
the holiday gift guide for a man or for him so for this you know those, those special men in your life i'm gonna do a gift guide tomorrow for men so um but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and you all have a wonderful night and again i will see you guys tomorrow all right bye guys